This is Kingdom Salmon TV. You are welcome. On this channel, we will share content of our father and mentor, Apostle Joshua Selman. As you listen, remain ever blessed. Thank you. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. Prayer point number one is the prayer of thanksgiving. I'd like you to look at the areas where you have tasted a level of rest and say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Somebody is praying. Lord you have helped me. Ebenezer. Tospa. You have shown me mercy in this area. Thank you. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and poured your love. Are you praying? You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. The one you are shown mercy, you are shown mercy, you are shown me mercy. Hey, I am the one, I'm the one, you are shown mercy, you are shown me mercy, you are shown me mercy, you are shown me mercy. One more time, say, I'm the one, say, I'm the one, you are shown mercy. Someone is praying, Father, thank you. Shalega Bakatoska Brendege Balagosiata. Someone is praying, Lord, you have shown me mercy. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Lord, you gave me a house this year, thank you. You restored my soul, you restored my health, thank you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, he says, and forget not his benefits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. Now you are going to cry. Father, the word declares that you are able to save even to the uttermost. I have come. The Bible says that he would not allow the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Now that you have thanked him, he says, enter his courts with thanksgiving. His gates with thanksgiving. His courts with praise. He says, come before him with singing. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't want you to keep quiet. You are going to mention the areas where you must find rest. Lord, I give you thanks for this and that area. But right now, I come before you trusting the God of all flesh. Someone pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Rest, 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 there remains a rest, marital rest, financial rest, fruitfulness rest, business rest, spiritual growth rest, please pray, every area you are yet to find rest, Call upon the God who can give rest round about.
Someone may be in your business. Someone may be in your ministry. Someone may be in your family. Someone it may be in whatever area. Let us therefore labor to enter that rest. Please pray. Lord grant me rest round about you are standing in for someone here is the time to pray grant me rest grant me rest that cancer that diabetes grant me rest in the name of Jesus grant me rest grant me rest Hallelujah. We are still praying. I just sense to add one prayer point. Second Thessalonians 3.16 Second Thessalonians 3.16 I believe. One of the indices of rest is peace. Second Thessalonians 3.16 It says now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means. We are going to pray that by all means prayer. Lord, how you do it, I leave it to your creativity. But my heart is open. Visit me by all means. Change my story by all means. It is within your power to make great. It is within your power. Someone pray by all means. You are the Lord of peace. Grant me rest, grant me peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. We are praying. Unfortunately, these two most important words, we don't seem to have the courage to use them for those who are alive. We only use them for those who are dead. We say rest in peace. Two important words that we should experience and enjoy in our lifetime. You don't have to wait until you are gone. You can experience rest and peace right now. You are not prophesying negatively. Declare it over yourself. Lord, rest and peace. You are giving it to me. In the name of Jesus. In my lifetime, I will find rest and find peace. Is someone praying? Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. Online, pray. Grant me rest. Grant me peace. Rest round about. Rest round about. That you can bless me in all things. My life becomes a testimony and a testament.
in the name of Jesus 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 listen you do not know there are ministers of the gospel here and they will tell you the greatest joy of any shepherd who truly loves his people is not his or her personal testimony is seeing God's people stand here to say look what the Lord has done look at the marvelous things turning my mourning to dancing my sorrow to joy so when I engage us to pray it is my desire as for me I'm prepared and God is prepared but it's to prepare our hearts to make sure that we receive maximally please don't be tired you are still going to pray one more time say Lord with my eyes and my hands I will see a performance over this issue whatever is the issue mention it that my answer will not remain in visions and dreams alone I'm tired of seeing it in visions and then it stops there I'm tired of having dreams and then it stops there tired of seeing the impartation in dreams and visions let it find expression tired of seeing the houses and the buildings in dreams and visions let it find expression that which is finished from the realm of the spirit let it be made manifest here and now the word became flesh and is dwelt among men and we beheld his glory tired of seeing the job in the realm of the spirit and then I wake up and only find out I was dreaming tired of seeing the favor in the realm of the spirit make it manifest now oh God hallelujah hallelujah will you be tired if I give you a few prayer points two or three one of the ways we bring favor to our lives is through favor provoking prayers I have taught you and you have seen it here believe me I don't know how people live without the favor of God it's impossible you are going to pray and say father in this season show me favor lift your voice and pray favor end this drought in my life once and for all tired of going up financially and coming down tired of men liking me today and then everybody leaving me alone tomorrow show me favor tired of empty-handedness someone is praying cry to the God of all flesh whether you're outside whether you're online please pray and Jabez pray pray right unto God as a family you are praying as a ministry you are praying as a business you are praying favor from heaven I've taught you that the proof of favor is not just money is that men's hearts are loyal to you please pray oh My favor has come. Oh, my favor has come. Oh, ah, my favor has come. Oh, my favor. In the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus prayer point number two speed listen dominion over time is real dominion no matter what you dominate if you cannot dominate time you are still lagging behind it was the delay of the bridegroom 
that made five others to miss it out. They were prepared from the beginning and they were virgins, but they expected the bridegroom to come fast. Lord, whatever is bringing delay in my life, bring speed to my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. Bring speed to my destiny. Someone pray, someone pray, someone pray. Speed of accomplishment. Speed of establishment. Shalagada branda gade katosko do bradiata. Shakra teke balako tosko brandi gedia. Embra katosko do branda gade balako dia. Embra tosko do basala gade ba. We are praying. We are praying. Satos kati lakosi abanda kres. Ibrati kiba lakota skondo branda gade ba lakatosi ata. Ekra katosha gede ba lakosi ata barando skodia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying speed. Let me show you a scripture that will bless you. Genesis 27. Let's start from verse 18. Please hurry up. Give it to us. Genesis 27 verse 18. Do you know what happened here? This was Jacob and Esau. Isaac sent Esau. He said, go to the field and hunt and bring me meat. And then... The mother of Jacob and Esau told Jacob, he said, go behind the house and bring one. And he made it quickly. This is Jacob now, disguising as Esau. There's a statement I want you to see. And he came unto his father and said, Father, and he said, I am here. Who art thou, my son? 19. And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau. I have done according as thou bidest me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my venison, that thy soul may bless me. Now watch this. 20. And Isaac said unto him, How is it that hast thou hast found it so quickly? What did you do that made this? You are not supposed to get this result under normal circumstances with this speed. His answer is our next prayer point. And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. Someone is going to pray, Lord, bring it to me. It is within your power. Bring it to me. One of the ways we experience speed is that God will bring it to you. Lord, bring it to me. Bring it to me. What I am looking for, it can look for me. You can bring it to me. You can bring the job to me by your mercy. How come you have found it so quickly? It says the Lord brought it to me. Some of you, as you are praying, you are already receiving supernatural answers. Bring it to me, O oh God. The destiny help us. I am tired of looking for them. Lord, bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. Bring it to me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now please listen. We are going to minister. We will pray for the sick. But my focus tonight. Is these two areas. The area of favor. And the area of speed. Listen. It is impossible. For you to not laugh. When God honors you on this wise. That God brings favor. The proof of favor is not money. You don't need favor to have money. Wisdom alone can sort that. But the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you, that is favor. When Jesus was born, the Magi, because of what was on him, 
they came all the way from the east when men come they don't come empty the bible says they came and met a baby bringing him the gift of gold frankincense and man when god was restoring job in job chapter 42 the 11th verse his restoration happened because all his acquaintances and all those who had left him the bible says the first thing that happened when god was restoring job was that his acquaintances all the people who had left him the bible says his brethren all his sisters who left him that means one of the ways that the devil attacks men is to remove men from your life god can handpick men but when there is a mass exodus of useful people it's an attack did you hear what i said one time he told the apostle he said don't be afraid i have many men in this city that means it's not only angels i have i have many men who can protect and defend your cause favor favor I have prayed this for you every day and I will continue to pray it because I have discerned and I have seen in my life and in this ministry it is impossible to truly sustainably do anything without favor the number one reason why people fail more than demonic attack is the absence of favor because when you have the favor of God you can rule even in the midst of your enemies hallelujah praise the name of the lord god bless you now i'm going to pray for you listen what does it mean to pray for people it's more than just falling down i want you to understand this what your expectation should not just be to fall down and to stand up you can fall down and stand up and honestly not receive anything are we together that can just be the effect of the movement of god's power your physical body that you may not be able to stand but when i say i am praying for you the first thing is that your eyes should be on jesus your faith should be alive you are now listening for when your word comes and you are receiving it by faith and if and where the miracle should manifest now like healing you are insisting that it happens i'm going to pray for you because there are demon spirits and I'm going to ask you to bring them out. For as long as I live, I will never stop casting out demons. For as long as I live, I will never stop trust standing in faith with Jesus to set the captives free. There are invisible spirits standing at the corridors of men's destinies and frustrating the purposes of God. Listen, when you see that certain battles are beyond the scope of humans, there is a spirit at work. But now, thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Are you ready? I want to pray for you. I want you to bring them out here. We are going to be very fast because I want to take our time to pray for the sick. There are people who are under all kinds of yokes. Manipulations of darkness. Some of you are coming here for the first time. Some of you have come because you are completely confused. What is the name of what is going on with my life? Nothing seems to be working. I want to pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three, I want you to shout that name Jesus. And that fire from heaven will fall upon anything that does not name the name of Christ. And get it out of your life. Are you ready? Father, we give you all the glory. I'm telling you, I'm already sensing such power from heaven one two three shout jesus i decree and declare right now everything that is not of god give way now give way now every altar every orchestration of darkness i command that it must leave in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus please help them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i'm seeing something that looks like a chain but i'm seeing it on the heads of people being removed not hands on the heads i decree and declare as many who are victims of this i bring you deliverance right now from the throne 
in the name of Jesus bring them out I bring you deliverance right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus 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 my God I'm seeing fire coming on people I'm seeing at least the number 44 this is inside and outside and the Lord is bringing deliverance not only for you but this is for your entire family they have prayed this is witchcraft that has tied down families some of you will be all right but the power of God will still come on you on behalf of your family in the name of Jesus I bring them out be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah the Lord is asking me to pray for people the moment you go to bed encounters with dead people those who have already gone what what fellowship has the living and the dead in the name of we are not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect we are talking of demon spirits I'm about to pray for you now the power of God is coming upon you that every association connecting you to the grave and connecting you to the dead he must give up father I decree and declare let your power rest now and bring liberty 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 in the name of Jesus Oh death, where is your sting? And oh grave, where is your victory? Oh death, where is your sting? Oh grave, where is your victory? The Lord is showing me the map of Nigeria, and I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit go to Emo state. Emo, and the power of God is coming on people now that are connected to that stage this is, is is a sign and a wonder how god does it in the name of jesus anyone under any kind of yoke connected to ancestry from this region be delivered right now 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 every time a miracle is about to happen to you you will have a dream in the night either someone molesting you or something happens and that is the end of it somebody who said i will favor you will turn against you i decree and declare by the decree of the waters by the power that raised christ from the dead every altar sponsoring delay and sponsoring um abortions of great dreams just when it's about to happen i cause it right now i cause it bring them out i cause it right now listen many of you have heard the stories of people they will tell you i suddenly got a job that i applied for in 2017 it did not just happen there are spirits that stop it but when they are taken away upon mount zion there shall be deliverance then holiness then possessing of possessions There is someone you are at the back you are a man of god i just saw fire come on you you don't even know why ministry has not been working the lord is visiting you i'm seeing at the back there is such such anointing that glory is just resting upon someone and breaking that yoke of delay in ministry that people come and they go they come and they go there is no staying and there's no growing in the name of jesus wherever that person is may the power of god touch you right where you are in the name of jesus christ do you know there is the spirit of poverty then there is the mindset of poverty if the only thing you correct is the mindset you will still be poor there is the spirit of poverty 
there is the mindset of poverty then there is the absence of value and productivity all of these are factors that ultimately lead to poverty you can find your place in terms of providing value but if the spirit and the mindset is not corrected you will still be poor you can provide value and even upgrade your mind but the limitation of intellect it cannot cross beyond to the realm of the spirit and correct spiritual things are we together the same way the spirit of poverty can be cast away but the mindset of poverty can remain you will still be poor the mindset of poverty can go away and the spirit of poverty can go away but then if there is no value and productivity you may it may not amount to much you will just have an epileptic financial life here you will learn the whole counsel of god it is the value and productivity but then the transition that happens to you mentally but ultimately the king of tyre he sits in tyre and sidon himself he lifted jesus and took him into an exceeding high mountain and said showed him all the kingdoms and the glories and he said i will give you this is not the issue of you are transformed i will is a transaction we will do from the realm of the spirit i want to rebuke that spirit there is a real spirit of poverty i have seen people who spent 10 20 years in the u.s and will return back when you see them in the village today respectfully speaking you will never believe that they've even traveled even to the, the state the capital it's a spirit when you find out four or five graduates all with phd and the least person respectfully speaking is maybe some teacher somewhere earning twenty thousand with phd this is more than the issue of value there is a spirit my assignment is to deal with spirits hear me anytime you see that you are not where you use where you should be and from a physical standpoint all that should be in place is in place there is a spirit stopping you let me pray for someone in a, see many people the power of god will come on so many people over this prayer father i am praying that every territorial altar that has sponsored poverty generational hardships you are still going to shout that name jesus i decree and declare at the shout and the blast of that name jesus let the fire of god fall and deliver families are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command that altar give way now bring them out i cost that spirit i cost that spirit i cost that spirit Tying down families, tying down destinies, be lifted in the name of Jesus. My God, miracles are happening here. Deliverances of all sorts. Please help them so they don't enjoy themselves. Bring them out if you can. Hallelujah. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name Janet. I want to pray for the sick. Janet. I can imagine that there are many people with that name, but the Lord is speaking Janet. Shali Paruzgesi Bahashalanda Kuziata Brahaski. My dear, you are stepping into a new season of favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands towards you. This is not only you, this is you and your husband. It's a season of reward that is coming. God is looking upon you with favor and with grace. And I declare may that grace rest upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There are five or six people who will start running out. Please hold them and bring them out gently. <sighs> Lift up your heads, O oh, ye gates. O oh, ye gates. O oh, ye gates. O oh, ye gates. 
O ye gates. O ye gates. Bring them out. I'm seeing something in the realm of the spirit. I made this statement because I just saw a gate. Very old gate. It's like it just blasted and it opened. That's why I, I was prophesying that. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Allah For some of these gates, they have been closed for centuries. They have been closed for decades. Like Jericho, nothing comes out and nothing comes in. But the God of vengeance is opening those gates right now. Please help them so that no one injures themselves. Janet, with Janet, I want to pray for you. The power of God is coming on one of you, Janet. I just saw something come out, like physically. Just um, I, I almost didn't even know that. Just come out of one of you. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that spirit. The Bible says a curse causeless shall not stand. So if it stands, there is a cause. And if there is a cause, the remedy is the blood. Therefore, I decree and declare, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, every legal access, I use these people in front as a point of contact, every legal access that the devil has over any life and any destiny that is authorizing oppression by the blood of the eternal covenant that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, I declare that legal access is broken now. Broken now! Broken now! Broken now! Open your mouth in one minute and declare every legal access that is authorizing oppression by the blood of Jesus, even the blood of the eternal covenant. I declare my release. I declare my release. I announce a jubilee by the spirit of grace. Faith brings me to my jubilee. And I declare, I announce a jubilee. Someone is praying. A financial jubilee. A health jubilee. Hallelujah. Who is Christopher? I'm hearing the name Christova. We may not have all the time to just prophesy Christova. Restoration is coming. Christova. Ah, can you imagine? This man, that was his wife, Del, that was under the anointing. Christova. Who sells phones? Phones like electronics, but I'm saying phone. You sell. You sell phone. Is there someone like that? You have like a phone shop. I want to pray for the person now. Please, if it's your issue, you had the testimony of that gentleman. Once there's a delay, protocol will naturally have to stop you because we have to hurry up. When you find that you sell phone, you deal with phone gadgets. Please let me have that person. I want to pray for him. Christova. The Lord is bringing restoration. That's what I heard in my spirit. Restoration. Two of you, the power of God is coming upon you. A strange grace is coming upon you for restoration. The way God will restore things, it will surprise you. Everyone will receive, but two of you, the power of God is coming on you. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so. May that mantle rest upon your life. Let there be restoration, supernatural restoration. Where is that lady that gave that footballer, that my footballer lady, where is she? The lady who came to... As she was testifying, God had put it in my heart to pray. Is she here? Is she around? She's a footballer now. She should hurry up. You are a footballer. You should be able to... Your life is about to change. Do you believe in miracles? Hmm. Yes, sir. There is a kingmaker anointing. Listen. 
king makers don't become kings but they enthrone and they dethrone it is by privilege of grace there is something that is happening here as i'm praying you will hear testimonies of people like that thing they say grass is it grass grass to grace my dear in the name of jesus i place an anointing upon you i'm seeing that the doors of europe will open for you receive that grace take that grace now in the name of jesus christ as i pray for her let me speak for to, over everyone anyone called mephibosheth that you are in your lowly estate by reason of certain disadvantages in your life in the name of jesus christ i declare that david sends for you the season has come for your lifting oh thou mephibosheth david has sent ziba to look for you I stand as a prophetic ziba in the name of Jesus you are sent for by the lion of the tribe of Judah even the root of David in the name of Jesus Christ and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that he may dine with me and ziba went to Lodeba and brought Mephibosheth and he made the sons of Ziba to plow the land for him. But as for him, he said, you will dine with me here for the rest of your days. God has visited your wife, Christopher. At least I know this one. This is not. It's your turn. Favor. God is going to be connecting you to people of strange influence. I release that grace right now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. That the gates of this city will open for you in a way that will surprise you. Let this happen even by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. My friend, what do you do? Why are they all here? This one at the back. That one with a nose, nose mask. Phone, phone, phone gadgets. Phone gadgets. Yes. Where? In Dutse. Dutse. Dutse shopping complex. Sir. Okay. You believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Two months. Yes, sir. Two Amen. months Amen. from now. Amen. Please hear me. Take that grace two months from now. My God will turn your life around in a way that will surprise you. This is by the Spirit. I'm not the one doing it. It's as instructed that the Lord puts in my heart and I declare it. In the name of Jesus and for all of you who have come out here for various reasons. There is a man, you are a lawyer. What is God doing with legal people? I'm seeing the lord is bringing restoration this is a legal practitioner in the name of jesus i don't know where that person is but you have lost money you have lost things in the name you don't have to come out please just except i ask you if not the time we may not be able to what do you do Ah? Huh? where i'm a lawyer i practice in abuja integrity chambers where integrity chambers how long has this been i've been into practice for the past 10 years do you believe in the power of god yes sir you've lost everything yes sir money yes sir. opportunities yes, sir. they defrauded you yes sir. but now god wants to restore you amen do you believe this yes sir, i believe sir do you know you would think that because the power of god flows through me i should be used to this i'm standing in shock myself as I watch how God turns lives around. Believe me. Believe me. My friend, in the name of Jesus, I use you as a point of contact. Every legal practitioner here, you've not been rising, no clients, no open doors. Fire is coming on you now. I'm seeing someone, you are in the ushering department and you are a lawyer, you are a lady. Where is that person? Your doors are opening. Please. just take it don't worry you don't have to god is going to visit you legal practitioner in the name of jesus please don't tell lies make sure are you are you lawyers huh father you have spoken in the name of jesus let that grace rest upon you now let that grace rest upon you now 
let doors be open for you in the name of Jesus Christ my friend the one I started praying for in Jesus name I pray for you let there be restoration forget about everything you have lost the God of heaven is able to restore if he restored Job may he restore you in the name of Jesus Christ who is Philips Philips who is may God bless you you are all blessed in Jesus name I want to pray for the sick but am I wasting your time Philips I'm hearing please let's verify so that you know sometimes these people just run whether they are the ones or not they will come and they will say by faith we are people of faith but let's just make sure that we don't tell lies you can receive by faith that gentleman God wants to turn his life around Philips take it easy take it easy please the ushers are trying they are human beings who so take it easy because if they are tired they will leave you to fall down you may enjoy yourself let's take it easy what do you do my friend and i'm a teacher where i have a cosmetic shop and i'm a professional teacher so i combine the both okay i want to pray for you where are they coming out you are philips too all of you i will pray for you the one with white what are you doing i'm a businessman okay we'll pray <laughs> isn't it amazing i don't know what god is doing with ushers there's one ushering person who will shout now under the anointing the power of god i don't know whether it's inside here whether it's outside i'm praying for every altar in the name of jesus i curse it right now hear me whatever will not give you rest in the name of jesus may it be laid to rest now may, may it be laid to rest now for all of you you came out here for various reasons i stretch my hands towards you may the power of god rest upon you and everything that has brought retrogression in your life let it come to an end now let it come to an end now in the name of jesus christ let it come to an end now in the name of jesus god bless you the gentleman under the anointing he's blessed in jesus name hallelujah please don't be embarrassed there i'm seeing one of them i don't know it's like you are up somewhere you are a medical doctor and then one i'm seeing in one of the overflows these two i know there are many medical doctors here but i'm just walking as the spirit of god is granting me grace because we're going to quickly pray for the sick medical doctor i don't know if um one of them i know for sure is in one of the overflows and then Is there someone like that i want to speak over your life god is changing your life in one of the not outside one of the overflows you are a medical doctor and then someone within this place like somewhere up the balcony not here you're a medical doctor is there someone like that please when you find them let me speak over their lives so that we'll bring this to an end now i don't mean to embarrass you but there's The person I'm seeing is a lady. You made your hair. You didn't tie it. This is what I'm seeing. You're a lady. You didn't like you pack your hair like this. Is there someone like that? Medical doctor. see how many doctors we have here that means we shouldn't be sick spiritually and medically hallelujah father i was going to say something just escaped my mind now 
in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God. You, 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 you would imagine that these sincere people, some of them, please, I'm not insulting you, eh? I'm not insulting you, but you can't imagine the things I'm seeing as I'm looking here. These are sincere people who love the Lord, attending to other people, and yet for some of them, there are all kinds of embargoes just holding them down. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare right now, there's one of you, there is such fire that is coming on you right now as I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, release them now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare freedom for you in the name of Jesus. You have been applying to go abroad, applying to go abroad, applying to go abroad. It's like this spirit will not let it happen. You have not even gone past the first stage and it's not like you are lazy. Something just happens and it does not even work. Even before scholarships and now everything is over, you were not even given. In the name of Jesus, I declare, by the power of the Holy Spirit, a change of story comes for you now. A change of story comes for you now. A change of story comes for you now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is ministering to me to do something different. Please bring out your prayer request. Don't submit it. Just bring it out. You are going to pray holding it. It's a good thing to walk with the Holy Spirit and not just to be mechanical. Please bring out your prayer request. If you've not written, you may want to write it down. I'm not a prophet of doom. And usually I would not come to say this in the open. But let's pray. I'm seeing a major person in the judiciary go to be with the Lord. Just like that. And they say this person has gone. I'm not a prophet of doom. But and ordinarily it, it would not even profit me to say anything. Sometimes God just puts it in your heart and he has been insisting. I've been struggling with you to say it. But we have to pray there are some things that the prayer now is to help the people so that they put their houses in order but I'm seeing someone in the judiciary you will hear this happen may the Lord show the family mercy in the name of Jesus Christ and that they put their houses in order but this is what God has revealed to me please bring your prayer requests I want you to truly believe that the things that you have written will come to pass. Some of you, you may not have any personal need, but you are writing for the sake of others. Some of you are holding photos in one minute. Ordinarily, I would ask you to bring it here, but the Lord just began to put this in my spirit. I've not even prayed for the sick. And even if we pray and we don't have the time to take testimonies, that's fine. This is it's not some ritual we are people who are led of the spirit hallelujah but in one minute while holding your prayer request i want you to agree with god and say father everything that i've written in the name of jesus let it become my testimony someone is praying everything i have written everything i have written outside inside you're writing it for yourself those online you're connecting by faith in the name of Jesus. I have seen God answer prayers in remarkable ways. Please pray. It's an instruction that God is putting in my spirit. If you can mention the things you wrote, mention them by faith. To be anxious for nothing, the Bible says. But in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says to let our requests be made known unto God. Let your requests be made known unto God. Let your requests be made known unto God. Let your requests be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Now, please hear me. 
I'm going to give a very serious instruction and I want you to listen. Please listen. If you are here and you've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please listen. You have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. We are going to pray during the program, but immediately after the program, please, I want to meet with you. So all those who are here, number one, be sure you are married. And then number two, make sure that um, you are serious about what we are saying. We are believers. We are not idol worshippers. So if you, if you don't believe, just go away. But those you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please, after the service, I want you to wait. I will ask the pro You can wait in front here. I will ask the protocol to lead you. I want to have a word with you. Your salvation has come. In the name of Jesus. Believe me when I tell you your salvation has come. In the name of Jesus. Now while you are standing, please you can pass your request to the last person. Ushers, please let's collect it now. Let's collect it now. Who is Samuel? A baby. Samuel. A baby. Is there someone like that? A baby, oh, huh? Your son, and so you stand now. Who else? Samuel, a baby. You too. Is my friend, but even though he's not a baby, this boy is. How old is he? Ah, four. You are not a baby boy. You are my friend because you have smiled at me. I will pray for you. Where? Eh? How are you? Are you my friend? Yes. Beautiful. Because you are my friend. Welfare. I don't know where you are going to find cake, but make sure this my little boy, this boy, give him something and bless him. Huh? In fact, except it will create chaos, if it will not create chaos, and we can do it in the next one minute, from one to ten, bring all our children here. Parents, if you can do it orderly, please don't carry anybody's child who is not your own. This is a large house. I'm warning now. Let's obey instructions. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Let's celebrate our children as they come. This is Koinonia future. Is this how you are honoring them? Parents, if they are coming out, hold them. Anyone that cannot walk you, come with them. Jesus loves the little children All the children of the world Red, brown, yellow, black and white They are precious in His sight Jesus loves the little children of the world Hallelujah Children, God bless you, eh? Just behave well, don't give your parents a headache We're about to pray for you, huh? Some of you at this age, you were in a shrine. You were not even here. So glory to God that we have our children in the house of God. I know what I'm saying. Some of you at this age, there was an altar and all kinds of demonic things being done on you. It's just in my spirit to pray for these precious children. Don't belittle them. The person whose future you have already seen, you've seen it. But the one whose future you have not seen, only God knows. Remember what you are learning as an adult is what they are learning as children. Please, if you are coming, come quickly. Parents, I'm seeing some other people come. We are all going to do it. We'll pray this prayer. Sorry, sorry. Help me. Please, just comfort the children. Soon we'll have a children's department. You see how this is children? There has to be a way of managing this. So, for those of you who are in children's ministry, get ready. You will soon have work in the name of Jesus. Start, start thinking already. Start planning. How are we going to have the best child care system? 
now please stretch your hands wherever you are to these ones and i want you to begin to speak over their lives from the depth of your heart pray like you are praying for your own biological child is someone praying this is part of the miracle service please cry to the god of heaven don't worry if you are holding a child's picture just lift it you don't have to come just lift it where you are please pray children pray to talk to jesus father we pray for our children 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 in the name of jesus these koinonia children will not be lost please someone pray they will not die before their time in the name of jesus the hand of god is upon them they represent the future of this ministry the future of this vision lord we love them we honor them and we pray that you will bless them satan the lord rebuke you someone rebuke satan the lord rebuke you over the life of these children we separate them from the company of wicked and unreasonable men we separate them from occultism initiations of of infants in the name of jesus we declare they are free 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 from it and if there is any child here that is under any kind of occultic manipulation witchcraft wizardry in the name of jesus we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now we bring them deliverance now I decree and declare I join my faith with everyone here and every parent here and we speak over our children in the name of Jesus prayer number one none of them will die an infant I say it again none of them will die an infant number two everything connected to ancestry whether coming from the east the west the north and the south in the name of jesus we bring them deliverance now number three academically we place an anointing upon them may they excel like daniel number four as touching the matters of god may they have the encounters of samuel even as infants in the name of jesus christ and finally i am praying that every parent here who is alive seeing their children in the name of jesus you will see them as adults you will see them as leaders you will see them as great people in the name of jesus christ the lord bless you and the lord increase you in jesus name let's celebrate them as they go please i want you to lay your hands you are trusting god for a healing miracle lay your hands now please i want us to be very orderly with the children make sure that they go back to their parents or their loved ones please let's let's make sure that they go children can run around and play but make sure that they go especially for the, the very small ones let's make sure that they return back please lay your hands i want to pray some of you this is a major reason why you came here tonight because of our time we may not i'm not sure that we may have the time to take testimonies tonight because um i, I don't want to stretch us too long we can leave all the testimonies for the next week but i want you to lay your hands there why do we pray for the sick because there is a relationship between sickness and death there is a strong relationship between sickness and death now please if you are here and you came with a sick person you can stand in for them by faith or if you are following from a hospital there are several hospitals that connect to the miracle services they have their patients trusting god and we've heard marvelous testimonies of miracles whether it is high blood pressure whether it is hepatitis hiv whatever it is just lay your hands i want to pray for you right now i have experienced the healing power of jesus in my own life so i know that he heals i know that he he heals just lay your hands there no one jesus there is no one 
Darling, there is no one Jesus, there is no one else like you No one Jesus, there is no one Darling, there is no one For you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no There is a man you are not in here but you are suffering from prostrate he's been diagnosed already in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the power of god is coming upon you right now the power of god is coming upon you right now the lord is showing me a woman your left breast there are multiple lumps there verify you've gone to the hospital in the name of jesus christ who is the son of the living God I bring you life right now now I rebuke every spirit I'm seeing a thermometer go up and down and every time I see this this prophetically signifies blood pressure whether high blood pressure low blood pressure in the name of Jesus I am praying right now for every and anyone who is here suffering from high blood pressure low blood pressure in Jesus name be healed now God is healing someone with the issue of blood this is a terrible thing sometimes you almost feel dizzy almost like you collapse in the name of Jesus I declare please help them let there be healing for you now let there be healing for you now every blood condition blood condition HIV hepatitis in the name of Jesus I speak over your life be healed now you can bring the request in the name of Jesus Christ shout a loud amen I'm seeing someone around I don't know if it's your armpit area or the side you have a growth something that looks like a boil that has come out is so discomforting and is painful in the name of Jesus I am praying for you may the power of God rest upon you rest upon you rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions you're already having cataract glaucoma in the name of Jesus or any kind of eye condition you're already seeing things that are not there because of severe, severe pains water coming out of your eyes I decree and declare be healed now be healed now be healed now there's someone you have from your lumbar vertebra down and then another person you have severe pain just around your back here in the name of Jesus I don't know where that person is who is that what's that you are lifting a corset are you the one holding it do you believe in miracles lift it and come you are healed come lift it up is it for you how long 20 13. What couldn't you do? I I couldn't bend. Look I, at me. You brought you came here with this. Yes, sir. All the way from Jaws. All the way from Jaws. Yes, sir. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, Ben. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at, he's checking himself.
This woman too. Who is this? Back pain. Back pain. Yes. For how long, ma? For more than eleven years. More than eleven years. Yes. Even last last month, I received injection two hundred and forty-two. Two hundred and forty-two. Yes, and I'm still receiving. See here yeah, for back. L, Madam. L four, L five, and then down to my leg here, yeah, knee. Was um, now we didn't plan to take testimonies, but you see, God, God knows that some people need this for their faith, huh? Madam, two hundred and two hundred and forty-three. Yes, until I lost count because every day they will give me four here. Yeah? Then my two hands, they can still see the sign of the. My dear, that's all, it's, it's all right, madam. Don't don't worry, don't worry. My dear, Osha, place your hand on her back. Father, this is a miracle service. In the name of Jesus, two hundred and forty-two injections. This is this is demonic. This is not a medical condition. Father, let Jesus be glorified tonight. I decree and declare, be healed now. Yeah. Madam, look at me. Bend over slowly. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Stand up. Bend again. Bend again. Any pain? Bend again. Look at what is happening to her. Your legs. In the name of Jesus. Stand up. Look at me. Lift your leg. No, no, no. Watch what I'm doing. Watch what I'm doing. Do it. Take it easy. Watch what I'm doing. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing to this woman? Now walk, madam. Walk. Try to walk. Just twist while you are walking. Any pain. Look at what is happening to her. My goodness. What is happening to you, madam? Look at Ah, look at this. Look at this. I'm still seeing God bless you, madam. I'm still seeing somebody. Please forgive me. But this there is an anointing for bone conditions to heal people. There are some of you who came with crutches whether outside or where. Please I want you to, I, I, my conscience, my heart, I will not be able to sleep knowing that the power of God for this miracle has come. Whether I know somebody was healed outside, I know there are a number of people. Lift it now and walk. Lift it now and walk while we pray. In the name of Jesus. Take it easy. We are not, we are not stage managing or faking anything here. This is the power of God walking through people. Walking through people. Please, when you find a miracle, let us know. And then if we can have one or two of them but let me finish the prayer um there's someone it looks like something is stuck around your throat in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you right now by the power of the holy spirit in fact the lord is showing me someone there is a swelling like this is a thyroid you know this um this thing that swells the throat in the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is, but the power of God is coming upon that person right now. Don't tell lies, make sure you really have such a situation. Who is the person? We are praying right now. Oh, I can see it. Look at all the wonderful destinies that the devil wants to trap with this demonic thing. Your own is an attack, eh? Lady number two. I cast that spirit. Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. Father, for your name and for your glory, this demonic thing, I don't care what it is and where it came from, but in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Be healed now. Amen. Be healed now. Amen. That the, the spirit behind it is caused right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. There will be complete healing. Complete healing for you. 
in Jesus name I'm still praying for the sick I remember calling out Samuel a baby before we spoke about the children I didn't get to pray is there a baby called Samuel maybe I'll just pray we may not have time for all of them to come out but there is the Lord is asking me to rebuke an attack over a Samuel who is a baby some of my dear people leaders here have their children called Samuel and any other person here connected in the name of Jesus there's a miracle that has happened there look at this let's celebrate Jesus are you seeing what the Lord is doing the lady is even surprised herself Koinonia are you celebrating Jesus look at this you are the covenant keeping God. You are the covenant My dear, you came with this. Yes, I did. What happened to you? Well, you were praying, so I. No, what happened before now? I woke up one morning and all of a sudden I couldn't look up. If I look up, my neck will hurt so badly. If I look down, my neck will hurt so badly. I was having back pain. I was having neck pain here. I went to the hospital and they recommended this and I've been wearing it since then. How long? For like about a week or two now. Oh, okay. It's just something that happened recently. Yes. Place your hand on your neck. In the name of Jesus, we do not trivialize this miracle. This is the Lord's doing. Satan, the Lord rebuke you in the name of Jesus look at me my dear any pain any pain any pain look at this in the name of Jesus perfection for you even by the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ perfection for you in the name of Jesus Christ I don't know but again the Spirit of God is taking me outside there's someone I don't know what miracle has happened to you outside that's not the overflows now outside in the name of Jesus Christ I, I, I don't know what miracle that is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead I think this is something that has to do with your legs from what I'm seeing in Jesus name I am praying for you let life let strength let vitality rest upon you in the name of Jesus Christ there is someone you have been suffering severely from breathing problems you don't have asthma yet it acts as though it's asthma you know severe breathing problems breathing problems I'm praying for the sick is there someone like that the Lord wants to set you free right now How long has this been? Help a gentleman and a lady who will shout under the anointing now. One day I will take the time to explain to you why these things happen so that you can understand because sometimes when we don't have an understanding it just looks like these are just some what's that please they should take it easy listen let me teach you something in administering miracles don't just get excited to show that the man of God is anointed or the power of God is in the place that you punish and frustrate the people who are remember everything we do is by love so even when the people believe and if they start moving you guide them as they are releasing their faith and the miracle now manifests that is when you can bring them up to testify don't don't try to embarrass them and put them you know under pressure either because you've lifted their wheelchairs or you've lifted their crutches we're not pretending this when a miracle happens a miracle has happened it's as simple as that are we together now
breathing problems. Please help them. Three of you, the power of God is coming on you now. Is the spirit of death. After that, I can pray for the rest. This one is the spirit of death. It's just the instruction God is giving me. Three of you, there is an anointing that is coming. That one is, is the manifestation of the spirit of death. You must let them go. Oh, death, where is your sting? And oh, grave, where is your victory? In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Now I pray for you. Every wicked oppression affecting you, affecting your breathing, whether in the night or in the day, connected to any medical condition, be healed now. I use this once as a point of contact to pray for everyone. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Lay your hands on your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. This is a demonic thing. In the name of Jesus. It has been there for a long time. But now you must go. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In Jesus name be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now whether I mention your case or not. I decree and declare. Outside all the overflows. Inside following online. Every situation that you've had. There's someone God is visiting you. You may not come out. You have a baby that is not growing. I don't know what the medical condition is. But your baby is not growing. And this is a very demonic thing. Right now in the name of Jesus. Wherever that parent or that baby is. I stretch my hands and I declare life and healing now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. One lady is going to shout under the anointing. All I will tell you is that a miracle is happening to your womb. That's what is happening to you. I don't know who that person is. But the Holy Spirit just means that the power of God is coming on you. A miracle is happening. Your womb. Your womb. It is something that medically cannot be corrected. But the Lord is visiting you now. It is something that medically cannot be corrected. But the power of God is resting upon you now. My God, look how many people outside. Those outside, lift your hands. I have to pray for you. The camera has shown me those outside. I'm praying for everyone. But I want to speak over those outside. Those outside, whether you are by the roadside, whether wherever it is, I want you to stand. I want to pray for you. We pray and trust that God will grant us grace soon to have our own facility in Jesus' name. Are you in agreement with me? You can see that those who are within the main auditorium are a very minute fraction. There are so many people, all the overflows following online, thousands of people outside. Those outside were agreeing with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that represents shame and reproach by the power of the Holy Spirit, I decree and declare let it be broken from off your life now let it be broken from off your life now now those outside at the count of three i want you to shout jesus as loud as you can the power of god is going to come on some of you and that will be my ministration for you and then we'll just pray and do the altar call and wrap up those outside father in the name of jesus even as you have put it in my heart for all the thousands of people outside who have stood in faith in the name of Jesus trusting you to visit them I decree and declare Lord by that shout let there be an avalanche of your glory your deliverance your power upon every one of them are you ready now those outside just the people outside one two three shout Jesus I decree and declare everything that is not of God let it give way right now I release you into the prophetic blessing of the Lord 
I decree it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Supernatural miracles over your life. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracles over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus name. Be healed in Jesus name. Stretch your hands over the request. I know you prayed for them. But please stretch your hands. Stretch your hands over the requests. Stretch your hands over the requests. Thank you. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bow my knees even over these requests. There are people trusting God for financial miracles. There are people trusting God for change of stories. Trusting God for the salvation of their loved ones. Lord, they have brought this as an act of faith. I stand by the privilege of priesthood. And I declare over this request. May they be answered by fire. May they be answered by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every human agent who must walk in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make for answers to this request, I compel their ministry over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I decree and declare that even from tonight, let there be a harvest of supernatural results. A harvest of supernatural answers. A harvest of supernatural testimonies. Because you believe, I declare that you receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. And as I would always pray, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands and receive this prophetic blessing. Every door that has been closed over your life and destiny. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. May that door be opened now. May that door be opened now. Number two. Every human vessel who has proposed to help you but for some reason they've not been able to attend to you this week coming in the name of Jesus may the Lord show you mercy that you receive your help in the name of Jesus Christ number three everyone trusting God for a job here you've heard the testimonies I declare yet again may my God surprise you every business here by the power that raised Christ from the dead I decree and declare that the Lord God of heaven will cause you to excel in the name of Jesus Christ I pray I know that from an economic standpoint it looks like times are very difficult but I want to declare even as you have prayed may the grace for exemption in the name of Jesus may that grace rest upon you but please hear me no one here under the sound of my voice will become a victim of any kidnapping as you go by road as you go by sea as you go by air you are supernaturally protected in the name of Jesus and every orchestration of darkness against anyone here you are delivered now those seeking God for promotion I declare let it be yours those seeking God for restoration in families let there be that grace upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray as always for your spiritual life this is the highest and the noblest index to measure your success I decree and declare fire like never before upon your prayer life fire like never before upon your word life 
in the name of Jesus Christ please hear me if you came here facing any cycle of disappointment any cycle of disappointment I'm declaring to you this night it comes to a permanent end anything that has left you that should not have left by the power of the prophetic we call it back to your life hear me some of you it's not like you are doing bad but sincerely you've not done anything extraordinary for a long time is you can't say you are not doing maybe you are doing poorly but you can't also say you are excelling the bible says the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter may that ever brighter grace rest on you that ever brighter grace rest on you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah oh I'm, I'm i just i didn't even notice i'm just spotting choma jesus hallelujah now god bless you my worship team people make sure after choma jesus please let me plead after the grace you people will wait she will pray and bless you this woman you see this is this is 50 years am i right on that yes 50 serving the purposes of god what a lovely woman early uh, i think i don't know what month it was i was with her in oweri was such a beautiful beautiful meeting so my dear people there is grace for you to receive after the grace hallelujah praise the name of the lord you have celebrated me you have honored me you have seen what God has done in and through my life. I want to pray a prayer for no, you don't have to kneel or did, but please. This thing called grace for visibility is not you can't manipulate it. It's not about social media. If the grace is not on you, if you like beg people to see you, they will say we are busy. I decree and declare whatever has hidden you so that your glory will not be seen by the power that raised Christ from the dead in this season find supernatural visibility from America to Europe to Asia to Africa even in Nigeria visibility for your ministry visibility for your family visibility for your business visibility for your products visibility for your business outfit in the name of Jesus Christ everyone here who has the call of God upon his life I declare by reason of your encounter here you will not fail help them you will not fail men women pastors apostles prophets evangelists missionaries receive the engraving for a new season in the name of Jesus I pray for your finances by the power that raised Christ from the dead you shall not beg you shall not beg step into the overflow by the anointing of the spirit you will sort the breast of kings and in their glory you will post yourself in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord will multiply you you will not be small he will glorify you you will not be few in the name of Jesus Christ The last prayer point because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I want to pray for you honor is a grace you've heard me say you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred upon another I pray for you by the privilege of this that we have received in the name of Jesus we have received it from God we have received it through the fathers we have received it through them that sell in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may this mantle rest upon you anywhere you have been despised 
May that grace bail you out. For someone, finally, the answer comes tomorrow. Yes, we are changing our We're wrapping up. Yes, we are changing every dying ministry. Yes, we are changing our Every life that has been bent in shame. There is a man of God you are watching. You are sitting on your chair. You are watching from Nairobi. You are about to quit ministry. Because you have done everything you know to be. To do. There are bills. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. This song. Even though. You may not be of the Nigerian tongue, but the revelation is clear. It is over and it is finished. Yeah. Apostle, I have four children. Where will their school fees come from? The song carries the answer. I told you this is a song of deliverance. It's a song that you war with when you have understanding. Hallelujah. Now, let me declare over you. Tokwe Sachs came here and he led us through a powerful moment of worship. Minister Dunsin came here and so powerfully pushed us into another realm of worship. These things have prophetic implications. In the atmosphere of worship, the spirit of prophecy is strong. I want to speak over your life. Please, I want you to believe in the power of prophetic speakings because we are made by the excellency of the speakings I taught you last week everybody in Christ and through spiritual understanding is a prophetic rainmaker I taught you last week rainmakers use divination to manipulate the clouds so that a cloud that is barren and should not have rain they begin to coordinate clouds from regions and gather them in one place and make it come they call them rainmakers and the believer in Christ, you can use the creative power of God's prophetic speakings to draw forth. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded and there was a sound. Don't ask where the sound came from. He said, speak to the breath, the winds, all winds from the four regions of the earth. Blow and come upon this lane. There are many of us who are alive, but it's like we are dead. Because everything that makes for living and dignity is dead in your life. We are about to prophesy resurrection. Just a few minutes, but you must receive with all your heart. Koinonia, I pray for you. As touching the grace that God has given. In this prophetic season, 10 is a number of a circle coming to an end. I decree and prophesy to you by the God of heaven and in the name that is above every other name the rain that has been long overdue let it begin to fall atmosphere shift now chains be broken Prophesy speed to your life. A strange order of speed. Begin to run like Elijah. Begin to overtake the chariots of Ahab. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometime back someone reached me. And... I saw his text I'm so so person then I picked how are you sir and he just said apostle I didn't call you for prayer or anything 
for three days god has been speaking to me and god told me that from today he wants me to stand and sow this amount of seed to this ministry for as long as my business thrives i said what is this are you sure you want to did you discuss this with your wife said ah, i'm not a child i'm not a this this is what god has put in my heart and when that happened it was not really what he said that was the testimony i began to pray and i said lord there is a covenant in this house that whatever flows from the head must go down to every part listen when you go to take your bath your leg does not struggle to touch the shower it is patient because it knows by connection you bath your whole body by standing on one position i said all that to prophesy to you strangers will call you strangers will reach you strangers will look for you they will tell you they were mandated by god to insist till you rise hallelujah i traveled to a particular nation and i finished preaching went to bed to sleep by the next day i got up and then my host calls me and says apostle you are strange i said what is wrong he said come let me show you something we go out and we get to a place and there is a very very expensive car that was parked and he said a man of god drove with this car and said right here he said give it to apostle i said number one um how do i carry this car to nigeria number two um the way they drive their direction of driving is not the same with our own so what well it's none of my business this is what the man has said i said call the man and we tried to speak to him you thought he would be sympathetic and say okay i'll come and take it and no leave it there it's yours what is on you is what controls what is around you i'm saying this because there are many things in our lives that have refused to change i want to prophesy something to come upon your head he said my horn has thou exalted like the head of a, the horn of a unicorn and i have been anointed with fresh oil please hear me koinonia in the name of jesus i declare over you the mantle that makes for favor and for lifting let it rest on you now hallelujah when minister dunson came up he prayed very powerfully for the grace for intimacy i want to pray that grace for you you are lacking seriously spiritually if you have not obtained the grace he said blessed is the man that god caused to approach you are called like the king had to send for people you don't just come it's a summon by his grace but when he calls you to that inner chamber you will find treasures within the chamber that gives you authority even if you are a gatekeeper like mordecai the moment you enter the inner chamber of the king from there you are climbing the king's horse to a life of dignity and honor let me speak to someone in the name of jesus may your intimacy with the holy spirit the value that comes from his presence from his word from the place of prayer let it translate to an exceptional life of signs and wonders don't be tired i'm praying let me pray over your finances please don't say it does not matter the devil is tying down people and making the matters of finance to interrupt people and not allow people to serve god with integrity and to serve god acceptably you belong to a family that has been marvelously helped of god that name ebenezer is a reality by the mercies of god i speak to you in the name of jesus by the power that brought the raven to feed elijah at brook cherith so that he was not without supplies may supernatural supplies begin to attend to your needs in the name of jesus yeah. i decree and i declare whoever has been mandated by god to hold your hands in this season and introduce you to the next season of your life 
I compel them by the Spirit to perform their ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ. I told you that a generation only hears you because the mantle of honor is upon you. Not just because you are valuable. You can be valuable and yet not be heard. He says, thou shalt take Joshua in whom is the spirit. And he says, thou shalt lay your hands upon him. Hallelujah. And then he says, you shall take some of your honor and you shall put upon him so that the congregation would hear him. It takes honor. You can respect yourself, but you cannot honor yourself. Honor is conferred upon you by another. But when that grace is upon you, you will speak and nations will hearken to you. I decree and declare that mantle and that grace for honor, may it rest visibly upon your life. From tonight, I stand by the privilege of God's grace alongside the coordinated grace of all the fathers in this nation that God has granted privilege to receive from. Nothing dies in your hands. Nothing dies in your hands. From today, begin to record unending testimonies. Testimonies in the morning, testimonies in the afternoon, testimonies in the night, in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything you have started but has not finished, receive the finisher's anointing. For those of you praying for divine direction, to know what God wants you to do for the next season of your life, in a dream of the night may my god come with accurate answers for you <laughs> hear me if there is any jonah sitting in your boat making you to lose things and you are about to lose your life i throw that jonah out of the boat <laughs> in the name of jesus christ And everybody who is already in the belly of the fish it looks like it has been concluded about you the same voice that spoke to the fish and informed Jonah out whatever it has swallowed in your life we command it, it must vomit it now finally every point of contact you came here with your hands as a symbol of your productivity, your documents, whatever it is, I decree and declare in the name of Jesus Christ, may the grace for favor rest upon them. <laughs> now, please hear me. We pray for Abuja. Lord, behold their threatenings, he said, and grant that that signs and wonders be done in the name of your holy son we have a responsibility over this city and over this territory and this nation to responsibly make our spiritual contributions in making for the safety in the name of jesus we release the forces of judgment we command the wind we command the earth in the name of jesus the bible says and the stars fought for deborah we declare by the power of prophecy let the tokens of judgment be released over this city and every conspiracy of darkness that is fighting the purposes of god let it fail permanently now please hear me don't say it does not matter us and uk are not foolish people they will not throw away their reputation just for nothing saying ab about the threat and the rest but can i tell you before god will come to sodom and gomorrah he came to abraham and abraham said if you find 10 people will you still judge them and god said no i don't know about you but i'm here you can count the rest in the name of jesus christ we stand here as prophetic signposts together with all who name the name of christ and we declare the spirit that sponsors evil we command you are banished from our region
Hallelujah. And anyone who has vowed that for as long as he's alive, people must die. I stand by the mantle of judgment. May the earth open and swallow them. And anybody who is profiting from this wickedness, in the name of Jesus, I say it again. That which they eat will be to their death. Therefore, we release angels. The entire six local governments that make up the FCT, we release angels. And we pray for the neighboring regions, Nasarawa State, Benway State, Plateau State, Kaduna State, Niger State, you are fortified. We pray for the law enforcement agents who labor day and night. May God grant them courage and intelligence. But as for you, I declare, may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. Please hear me. We pray for everyone connected to this vision. The children, the spouses, the businesses, in the name that is above all names and by the mystery of the fourth man in the fire that says those who the fire had no power over there shall be no loss <laughs> please hear me i want you to walk up around with vigilance but walk with confidence fight fear did you hear what i said fight fear fight fear i'm not stupid the first crisis that happened officially in plateau state i was in the middle of it i was somewhere in town i how many years did we spend in zaria you know how many crises and troubles i've seen the person speaking to you is not stupid and he said they that are with us are greater Please, I want you this fear that is palpable upon people. Now, of course, I know that you know wickedness and rage is there, but I am telling you this: do not fear. You fear you will not go about your activities and you will be poor, you will be broke. Is the spirit, it's not just a spirit of terrorism, it's a spirit that bankrupts people and takes away your productivity. Do your due diligence, work with wisdom, but I assure you, do not fear. Everybody who tries evil in this nation will know that there is a real throne that sits. And there is him that sits, jealously protecting the name of the Lord. For who shall say a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? Listen, we are loyal citizens, but we are not fools. Mm -mm. There are people who God has granted grace and access. We owe a responsibility. To speak prophetically over the peace of the land it will never be that you went out and then you could not return back to your home because you were in the middle of a crisis if it will happen you will not go there but if you go there then it will not happen wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise wave your hands as a wave offering to Jesus who is the son of the living God we give thanks we give thanks in the name of Jesus Christ all we have declared and all you have received tonight it is permanent in your life in Jesus name let me make the altar call before we end tonight's service there is someone here who is saying apostle thank you for all of the mighty things that Jesus has done through you to his people but my issue right now is that I need Jesus and I need him desperately and there's someone who is saying apostle I've, I remember giving my heart to Jesus but sincerely as it is now things are not yet right in my life I do not want to leave this service without that encounter please wherever you are I know that our time is gone but let me one minute of your time I want you to leave your seat right now and come come and stand here
don't be ashamed don't look around be bold and come and stand there has to be someone if you are coming god bless you god bless you for someone you are saying well i remember giving my heart to jesus but as it is things are not all right can i come to rededicate my life join them god bless you are you celebrating them koinonia come come let him give you a new beginning it is true that no jesus no life god bless you god bless you god bless you keep coming you can make it right with him right now hallelujah lift your right hand all of you who are here and i'm going to lead you to pray this prayer if there are those who are still coming or in all the overflows you can just stay right where you are and pray the prayer very quickly in the name of jesus christ as i pray with you i want your heart to be open jesus is here to receive you and give you a new beginning lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i have seen your power i believe in you that you are the son of god right now i receive jesus into my heart as my lord as my savior and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i declare from tonight and forever that i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name father thank you for these ones they have come declaring their faith and the bible says as many who will come to him you will in no wise cast away i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that based on the authority of scripture and by your declaration i declare your sins forgiven the lord gives you a new beginning from tonight you go from glory to glory and grace to grace may the marvelous hand of god rest upon you you are blessed you remain blessed in jesus matchless name amen and amen god bless you please may i request that you follow the counselors just move to my right which is your left there are counselors there they would honor you and have a word with you very quickly and you'll be back to your seat just appreciate them as they go hallelujah now let me encourage you for next service up until the last miracle service is going to be times of intense prayer encounters and every service is really going to be a miracle service because we are pushing through to see that that which god has ordained for you in this season of marvelous light that it must come strong so make sure your heart is opened make sure that you are you participate in every service with your heart opened and the lord will bless and honor you and make sure you do the work of an evangelist don't say there are people around there's no space anywhere again no that your assignment is to make sure that as many who are unreached come to jesus that could be the lifeline for their finding salvation and transformation hallelujah again let me thank all who have come may the lord bless you and honor you
appreciate you for watching our videos like comment share and subscribe thank you